They weren't kidding worthy when they said this season was going to be an all-out war. Black Sails began its fourth and final run with a premiere episode that wasted little time in thrusting us straight into the action. War has begun. The three pirates banded together to attack the port of Nassau. And what did we get? And I don't say this lightly, one of the most impressive TV battle sequences that I have ever seen. Game of Thrones may take the cake when it comes to the very best, such as the Battle of the Bastards or Hardhome, but Black Sails' season 4 premiere proved to us again that this show can hang with the very best. And what a stark feeling this episode had compared against last season's victorious finale. Here the pirates were absolutely destroyed. They suffered a catastrophic defeat after some purposely sunk ships in the harbour grounded the pirates attacking force right in their tracks. It left them open, defenceless, as Woods Rogers laid siege to the halted ships. Just look at this. Take this in of what's happening on screen. The feats that TV shows can achieve now is getting ever more impressive, and as brutal and violent as this carnage was, it was just absolutely breathtaking. Seeing these huge ships collide with one another, watching the pirates be dragged underneath the surface, had me on the edge of my seat. The underwater segments visually were stunning. We knew Silver was never really in any true sense of danger from being killed off, but that didn't stop the tension for a second as he was pulled to the very bottom of the ocean. Flint and Maddie still may be unaware of his survival, but seeing him scramble through the wreckage of the ships has had me re-watching that scene a number of times already. The allegiance of pirates was fragile enough already, and now with all of them thinking that the rising legend of Long John Silver is no more, it's tough to see the remaining ones being able to agree in accord. We already witnessed the differing views of Flint and Billy coming to a head, and at some point, I imagine that conflict will come to blows. So in terms of all pirates involved, they need Silver back as soon as possible. Meanwhile, over on Nassau itself, Governor Rogers' troubles were piling up. Costs for maintaining, managing, and providing commerce to the island were mounting up. He had divorced his wife, whose reaction only caused more problems for Rogers in the money department, and Eleanor Guthrie is now Eleanor Rogers, and she saw firsthand what these towering problems were beginning to do to him. He's certainly no slouch in the tactics department. He showed us in this episode that his prowess is well and truly intact, but the mounting pressure on him, the island, and the debt that he now owes had his threatening darker side coming to the surface. His sit-down with Flint last year was one of my favourite moments from Season 3. Rogers has never really showed us why he was one to be feared. Well, now he is a villain that I, and I'm sure many of you, are eager to see the end of. And on the topic of seeing the end of people, we had a new face in Rogers' right-hand man, Captain Beringer. Straight away, he was ruthless, even cutting the ear off the Groot. There's bound to be plenty of deaths this year, and from the off, I for one hope that Beringer joins that company. Once again though, the English made the same mistake as they did last year. They thought once more that they could outdo Teach, as him, Jack and Anne were able to sail away from the Nassau Harbour. But in them thinking that they had him on the run, had the pursuing crews seal their fates. Teach is angry and hell-bent on exacting revenge. He even executed all of his captives right on the spot, and now he's on his way back to Nassau to trade for the one thing he wants. But will Rogers pass his wife over to him? I doubt that very much. For Teach to get his revenge, he's going to have to fight for it, as the war is still to be fought. That this can all end. If the governor turns over the one thing he wants. My overall verdict for the Black Sails Season 4 premiere is a 9 out of 10. It is a spectacle that has to be seen. Visually, it's one of the best episodes of Black Sails in its entire run, and its hard work deserves to be recognised. The time and effort must be so rewarding to see the results. 
The growth that these characters have gone through since the very first episode only works to make this show even more worth your time. I sometimes don't like having to pick a favourite moment from an episode, but this week, no question, it was the ambush on the pirate's fleet. Seeing Silver sink to the bottom of the ocean, trapped with his leg in the rigging, easily was the standout moment. But in Black Sails, especially when Flint is on screen, the dialogue is just so riveting. Toby Stevens deserves all of the praise he can get, and seeing Flint's plan come disastrously undone only leaves me even more intrigued to see what he'll do next. Woods Rogers struck a deep first blow to the pirates. They are now separated and on the back foot, as the story's conclusion is rapidly approaching. So how will the pirates respond? The war has begun, there's no stopping it now, and there will be more casualties. Silver already had a close shave this week, and with only 9 episodes left and a promise from the creators themselves that big deaths are to come, who do you think is going to make it out alive? Silver will, he has to, as does Billy Bones. Other than that, the rest are free game. I actually think Flint's fate will be left up to the viewer. I don't know how they're going to do it yet, but I think it will be left up in the air. Woods will probably die in the final fight, and sadly I think Teach's fate will end in his pursuit for revenge. Yes, he's gonna die, I have no doubt in that. I hope he doesn't, of course, as Ray Stevenson really is a presence in full pirate garb, but I just get the feeling his rage could blind him into sealing his fate. It wouldn't even surprise me if Eleanor played a part in that, but if there's one person that I hope meets their maker, it's Eleanor herself. Still criminally underrated, Stars' pirate drama began its journey to the end with a masterful first episode to send us on our way. If you're one like me who's watching this show, spread the word, as this show deserves a larger audience. And I don't know about you, but I for one cannot wait for what's in store. So what did you guys think about the Black Sails Season 4 premiere, and what do you think will happen regarding each of the characters' fates? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Expect weekly reviews for Black Sails as soon as I can get them to you. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you on the next one. Were he here, I am sure Mr. Silver would make this all sound more agreeable to you. But without him... Think what you like. My word will govern.